It's a cold one today, minus four according to my van, and we've just had the first snow of winter, which is probably gonna be the only snow of winter. Surprisingly, it doesn't snow as much as you'd think in Scotland. But today is the perfect day to come out on my e-bike at Glentress. I'm here with the guys, I'll put their names down below. And today is, yeah, gonna be a real slippy one. We've already fallen off because the floor is pretty much just pure ice in places. So it doesn't give me too much hope for the actual trails themselves. I did come to Glentress just the other week with Fraser, my first time here with the new trails and they were pretty awesome. I did attempt to film, but I was kind of experimenting with different camera setups and mics and stuff and it just didn't work. So this time back to basics and hopefully we can get a video out of this one. What you got? <laughs> so I'm in Glasgow, which is kind of on the west of Scotland, and we're in Glentress People's Area, which is kind of more towards the east. There's a, sl <laughs> oh, a snowball coming at me there. Slightly less snow here. Actually, this morning, for the first time pretty much ever, I had to get the broom out and sweep the snow off my van. <laughs> I didn't know whether I was actually going to be able to drive here today. But yeah, there's still plenty of snow here for a bit of snowball action. Hooray! <laughs> right well apparently for starters we're going right to the very very top up to the mast or something i haven't actually been up there apparently some pretty steep trails but while we're on the way up there check out these views absolutely gorgeous tweed valley oh what a place all right off the fire roads now bit of climbing oh, this is nice I haven't done a snowy ride for years and years. Last time I came to Glen Tress with Fraser, I was on just my Shadowcat standard mountain bike, and that was good fun. But this is the first time actually properly coming to a trail center up some decent hills on the e-bike. This is uh, yeah, quite fun. It's an eco. It's not an eco. This is so good. I need an e-bike, this is well good. Look how thick these gloves are. I should go push Ali, shouldn't I, but... The bandage car kind of thing for the real one, and this is that home because they were doing this legend. Yeah. Okay, so we're not at the start of the trail yet, but this will give a good taster of what the grip level's like in here, because I honestly have no clue what it's going to be like. Yeah, it's not too bad, but that's famous last words. I was expecting the bike to give way at any moment. <laughs> Good thing about this bike maybe is the extra weight gives more grip. Plus these tires are huge and chunky, which <laughs> nice scanty flick there. Oh man, that bit's tech. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Cheers, guys. This is a tech start. Okay, here we go. Apparently this goes really steep in places. This is gonna be interesting in the snow. Fraser was saying this is sketchy even when it's not snowy. So if I go quiet, guys, yeah, I'm concentrating. I'm hoping you can actually even see anything because it is pretty dark in here. <laughs> oh, we've got dabs over here. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, this is my kind of trail. I do like steep. <laughs> yeah. oh. Just hold on and hope for the best. Oh, I'll try not to hit any of these trees. Oh, I'll tell you what, this bike is lovely. Yeah, this is 
suspension's real nice. I kind of had it set up pretty trialsy in the car park. So I'll slow down my rebound after the game of bike video we did. And it is feeling it so nice. And I actually think maybe because it's frozen, this trail is actually maybe a bit grippier than normal, despite the snow. I hear this is normally pretty muddy, but the grip at the minute, famous last words, is actually really nice. Yeah. yeah, this is steep. I love steep stuff. Hey, 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 oh, that was so cool. Yeah. I was like bad foot forward for... <laughs> Once you get one of those ruts, you can't really swap your pedals, yeah. can you? No. I was leaning over one of the ruts. I'm like, I can't steer. Yeah. <laughs> that is my kind of trail. I love yeah. that. Yeah. I love that. So we just did that first trail there. And I've got two cameras on me. So I've got the GoPro on the head, recording this piece of camera on uh, DJI Ultimo Action 4. I also have an Insta360 X3 on my chest, which I've not used for the longest time. And I forgot which button actually starts recording, so I didn't actually record anything on that trail on my chesty then. At least I had the helmet cam, and that's why I use multiple cameras, because despite doing these kind of videos for nearly eight years, I still make stupid mistakes like that. I'm such an amateur. But as for the trail, that was actually just, that was sick. That was really, really good. Last time we came here, we kind of just rode the new jump trails, which are your kind of typical trail center, smooth, polished, really fun, but nothing too technical type of trail. Some big jumps, berms, whereas that one was much more kind of natural, real steep, rutted, rooty, rough. That's my kind of stuff. I love that stuff bit more trialsy esque rather than flat out speed because I don't really do speeds that well. I really, really enjoyed that. And this bike was really good as well. The suspension tends to work better on an e-bike because the bike weighs so much, the wheels, or well, the, the bumps on the ground don't push the bike up as much, so the wheels track way better. And just the weight of the bike means the tires have more grip because it's more pushing down on them. Yeah, that was really, really nice. A little bit more work to muscle it around, but good training. And yeah, definitely keen to do more of that kind of stuff. Yeah, oh my God. Oh! Yeah, great. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is very dark in here. Oh my God. Oh, this is steep as well. Oh! Oh, I... Stay the line, Fraser. Oh shit! <laughs> I don't think they're supposed to go that way. Yeah, I'm in a river. I'm in a river. Oh. Where did you guys go? Ah! I know you're not going to fix it. fucking great with that. You know, I kind of fancy that as well. Just follow his line exactly, and then you won't hit any logs. Oh my god, this Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Hopefully there's no logs <laughs> oh. oh no. Ah, oh, Fraser's down. What's hurting? Winded. Oh, you winded. Yeah. You're gonna be alright. Oh. 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 I stopped recording because I thought you were actually dying there. You actually just flipping hamming it up. I couldn't breathe. It. I was like, <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, almost. Oh. There's a big oh. rock. Yeah. Don't go in there. I'll give you a fiver if you get back up this side. A fiver? Yeah. <laughs> I think we should stop pretending we're on skis and stick to the natural <laughs> trails. All right, Fraser says we've got a descent, so. Well, I don't know how good it is, but. It better be damn good. Yeah. Take that with a, a pinch of pepper. <laughs> got a feeling I've been down here before. Oh. 
Oh, lost the front wheel slightly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we've been here before. <laughs> nice. So we've done a couple of the more natural trails plus a little bit of a sneaky off-piste and we're now heading back up to the new red route which is the one I was saying is a bit more sculptured a bit smoother, more berms, jumps, stuff like that and I'm actually more nervous about riding this one than I am any of those steep ones because this is a lot faster there's uh, the berms, I have no idea what the grip's going to be, it's going to be icy or what so I'm actually a little bit nervous about this one but you never know might be all right. It's going to be fun and hopefully interesting. Right, so here we are at the Red Trail. All right. Check out these views. Some of those berms look a little icy down there. Yeah. Oh, what's this, Fraser? Turn around. The hand. <laughs> That's pretty pro. It is, isn't it? I just need to speed up. All right, calm down. No, I, I, I got, I got. We're going. Yep. yep. Wait. Right. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm so terrified of this at the minute. Oh. This is just ice. Oh. Yeah, we're going to be quite slow down this, believe me. Whoa, it's sloppy. Whoa, this. Oh, this 12 inch tire is just eating that up. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Oh. 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 oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> yeah, I had reason to be scared of this. Whoa. <laughs> I tried to go for a gap, which I've done before, and my front tyre just either squirmed or slid on the takeoff. And I basically did that whole jump completely skew with, Whoa, and it slid again then, and one footed, which was terrifying. I thought I was going down. Oh, yeah, I don't like this. Oh, jeez. Oh, Yeah. You okay? All good. He's all good. If you sit down, you get more grip. <laughs> I bet. Whoa. It's almost like whiting out as well. Not from any drugs, but just really hard to see any depth perception. So yeah, we just did some black routes down the woods. They were fine, but as soon as you get onto an easier red route, out in the open, it's a pure ice. And yeah, that was super sketchy. And now Fraser wants to go down a blue route, and I'd rather just go down some more black ones. There's a big gap on here that a couple of people have done, so I want to see it. I'm not going to do it in this, but at some point it would be cool. Oh, it's like riding on a carpet or something. Oh, I'm so scared of pushing down and just sliding. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like riding on ice. Well, it literally is riding on ice. Oh, <laughs> oh we Scandi flick which you cannot see. <laughs> Man, I slid out and that bit wasn't even icy. Oh, I'm dressing. Now, I like to think that's a Scandi flick, but I'm literally just doing a skid. <laughs> but yeah, try and relax into it a bit. Oh. 
Whoa. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys could see that, but <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> oh my god. So the gap is from there all the way to the roller there, which I hope you can see everything's white and the same. So to there, that's the landing. And Fraser to there. Uh, a few bikes. That is a long way. And yeah, it's claimed a few bikes already. <laughs> Fraser is claiming he's going to do this today. So up you get. No, I will. Well, I up to the hill. That, up to the can. top. <laughs> no, I don't want to do it anymore. So having just crawled our way down a blue route, we're now here. Is this a black route then? Yeah. So it's a, it's a trail I rode last time I was here, which is kind of one of the bigger jumpy lines. We're going to roll down it, I guess, but I'll be very surprised if I do any of the bigger jumps because even those smaller ones up there were sketchy as hell. But yeah, once we're down at the bottom, maybe a cup of tea or something. Yeah. And then back up to the top. Oh my God, Harvey. <laughs> Mate, they are sending it. This is ice. Oh my God. Oh, there's like zero grip. Oh, I've gone low. Oh, another one. I think the bear will be all right. Because even when I came here in the, well I say dry, it was muddy as anything, I was sliding coming off that road gap. Yeah. So with a bit of ice on top, I didn't fancy it. This is literally your first ride on this bike. What a first ride, eh? Amazing. Right, excuse the helmet here. Rather than going up to the top now, we're gonna have some lunch. This is, is this a new cafe? Because I don't remember this. So I came to this cafe last time, got some chips. The best chips I've had for a long, long time. So we're gonna get some chips and a cup of tea, refuel for going back up to the top. That's given us now enough energy to head back up the hill. And Fraser, I don't know where he's managed to get it, but he has just nabbed someone's e-bike. So we're all on e-bikes now. Where do you find that, dude? I was just in the car park. Just lying on the floor? Yeah. I mean, you are Glaswegian after all. <laughs> So now we're all on e-bikes. We can actually go pretty fast. Uh, this is actually my first proper ride where everyone is actually on e-bikes. <laughs> this is actually quite hard work. We're doing a steady, well, I was going to say 20K. We slow down a bit now, 15K an hour. Which is 10 miles an hour. 10, <laughs> that sounds really slow, 10 miles an hour. But considering I would be crawling up this, uh, I'm putting in some effort though. We're just going to get to the top three times faster than a normal bike, which means we get way more runs down the hill and I'm still working up a sweat. So I can understand how some people don't like e-bikes, but I think a lot of those people who really complain and are really loud about it, have never tried one, never properly. I don't think so anyway, because I don't know how they could dislike it. I can understand maybe from an ethical point of view, batteries and stuff like that. I can understand that. I'm a little bit torn myself. But for a fitness or cheating aspect, nah, I think you're all wrong. Totally, it is just fun. Okay, so we've made it to the top of the first trail that we did, which is actually my favorite one so far. Waiting for my hands to heat up a little bit. And rather than use my Insta360 camera in here, because, well, hopefully you can see the clouds are coming a little bit, it's gonna be even darker in there. And one thing this camera does struggle with is darkness. So it will be pretty shaky. So instead of using that, I'm gonna actually use the camera I'm filming right now, my Osmo Action 4, because that is the best camera I've got for low light conditions. This will be just for Instagram, because I'm gonna have it vertically, but yeah, still got the GoPro on the head for normal stuff. Oh, those guys have already gone. Oh. Right, here we go, into the dark woods. Can I see anything at all? Tell you what, I'm gonna need some lights in here soon. Because it is dark. And my eyes are watering up a bit now. <laughs> wow, this is super dark, way darker than it was last time. <laughs> All I can see is just a black line where the floor is. I cannot see any detail at all. 
Right. Try not to drag my brakes as well, because that's one issue I have a little bit. You just let them off. And let the tyres grip. Give my arms a chance to recover. <laughs> oh, that is the deep rut. Oh, oh, messed that up a bit. But yeah, I think I said it on my last lap. Absolutely loving this bike down here. Wow, you got a spark from your pedal then. Nice. I don't want to jinx it, but I've never felt this level of grip on a bike before. It is nuts. I think as long as I stick in the trail, the grip's definitely there. I just can't get over how dark it is. Yo. Oh no. Hit a rock. Kept feet up though. We're all good. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Yo. Oh shit, sorry man. That's all I'm good. Pedals all the time. You got a good spark coming off your pedals on one of those rocks in there. <laughs> Is this a bad idea? No hands. Oh, right onto ice. <laughs> it, it all alley. <laughs> Right, Fraser loves a good stoppy, and I think every time he comes here, he always tries to stop you down this hill as far as possible. Oh, going angle. <laughs> that is so cool. Ah, oh, it's good when you get into balance point. Yeah. <laughs> There we go everyone, that is the end of the ride. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. This has been one of the first times I've actually been out and <laughs> ridden the e-bike how it's meant to be ridden and what a bike it is. Absolutely loved it and yeah, an e-bike up in a place like this is ideal. We managed to get way more runs done in just, you know, the days are so short at the minute so having more runs is always better. Big thanks to the guys for inviting me out today. They're just packing up as well. That was really good. Good to be out with a good bunch of people. That was awesome. And yeah, good fun to ride in snow. Hope you enjoyed this, like I said, and I will catch you next week where I'm working on something fairly interesting. Interesting for me. Anyway, have an amazing week. See you later. Bye-bye.